Logan from Reef Breeders here, and today I'm just going to go over how to set up your Apex VDM integration kit with your Photon. Now, so once you have your light set up, you have your Ethernet cables plugged into the VDM ports on your Apex unit, and they are also plugged into the light. Basically, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and configure those ports. Now, so in the last video, there was some confusion on how exactly to do this. Uh, this is more of an advanced um, programming method here. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is click on the uh, little gear icon here and then we're going to open up the system diagram. Now if you have an external VDM module that might show up a little bit differently from here. Uh, I have just plugged in the head unit here and you'll see the option for variable 0 to 10 volt and that's what you're going to want. You're looking for the variable speed outputs and there should be four of them per VDM module and I want to make sure that you use the variable modules instead of the serial outputs. The lights will not work configured on the serial outputs. You have to use the 0 to 10 volt outputs manually and those are called the variable speed ports. So we're going to select the first one and just click that little gear icon there. Now that's going to give us the option to name it. So what I like to do before I determine the color that it corresponds to, I just like to name it uh, 1 RB. So 1 Reef Breeders. And leading with a 1 means that it will show up first in our list when we look for it. And then RB, that's how we know it's a Reef Breeders light. And uh, I like to give it a little icon so that we know that it's a light. And then to save that, you just hit the little upload in the cloud icon here. All right, and once that is updated, what you want to do, and this is the key here, you want to click this little magic wand icon up here. It says wizard when you hover over it. So once you click that, that's, uh, we're just going to exit out of here. That's going to open up the main chart for you. So the way I like to start this is I remove all the points except for the first and the last one. So I start removing the ones in the middle. And then I like to set these to... 2% just to start. Now this is for the calibration. When you initially get your light and you hook it into the Apex, it does need to be calibrated. That's because the Apex uh, 0 to 10 volt ports put out a very, very minute amount of voltage. So if, uh, you know, if for example, you think that the port is off, it might be putting out 0 0.001 volts kind of on and off in a small wave pattern. And this could cause like a little bit of low grade flickering in some situations. So by calibrating it to 2% here, we basically eliminate that. So when the light falls below 2% from the VDM module, it will basically turn the light off. So when it's on zero, those little tiny voltage fluctuations won't show up. So we're just going to save this. And we're basically going to rinse and repeat with all four VDM ports. So I'm going to go back out to the system diagram up there. And then I'm going to select uh, variable speed 2. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do 2RB. So again, we're going to kind of rinse and repeat. The second one we're going to call 2RB. And then again, hit that magic wand icon. Now this time it's a little bit easier. All we got to do is go up here. You see these two file icons. It says copy when you hover on it. And then we're just going to copy that over from 1RB. And we're going to save. And then we'll go back out to the program menu. Select variable. And then the name didn't update. So I'm just going to go in here, update that, update that again. Again, I like to change the icon. And then we're going to go back over. Then we're going to save. And what I like to do is just go through and compare just to make sure that they are all set to the same thing, 2%. All right, so now that we've done that, we want to go back out to the dashboard, and you'll notice that those variable dimming ports, they don't show up on my dashboard here. So what you're going to want to do is go and try and find those in here. So, okay, here we are, 1RB. So all basically all I did was I clicked the little lock icon up in the top corner here, and that allows you to edit the menu. And then I like to drag these out somewhere prominent, just so that I could see them, because these are going to come into play pretty quickly. 
and we're going to hit the lock icon again. You're going to want to make sure that all four of these are set to auto. And then with your light plugged in, you're going to want to press the calibration button. Just give it one press. And the lights may be on very dimly to start. After about uh, 15 to 30 seconds, you should see them dim down to almost nothing. You might see a little bit of light flashing, uh, like very, very minuscule, which should uh, stop if you turn them all off. The lights should go totally off. Now, put them back to auto, and then one by one, go in and hit on. Just one at a time, and we're going to see what color comes on. Uh, so, with the first one on, on my lights, um, I'm getting the uh, royal blue channel. So I'm going to write that down, RB1 equals royal blues, I'm going to put that back to auto. Um, for the second channel, I see the white LED is turned on, so I'm going to write that down, 2RB is the whites, and then 3RB, I see my violets turn on. So I'm going to write that down, and then 4RB, uh, rather 4RB is the violets, and 3RB was the cool blues. So I'm going to note those down, and then we're going to go to settings, and I'm going to rename that. So 1RB Royal Blue. Name that one, underscore royal blue. Then hit OK. And send that configuration. And then I'm going to want to create basically a basic schedule in here. So I will add a point. And then I'll add another one here. So I like to add a total of six points. So this is for kind of a simple schedule. We're going to take the first two and we're going to bring them all the way down to zero here. So I want my lights to come on around, I like them to come on around nine in the morning. So I'm going to drag this over to nine, set that to zero. And then I want my royal blues to peak at about 40% with a one hour ramp up. So I'll do, I'll actually do 45 for this tank. Now, don't worry if it's off by a minute. You know, if you're like me, you want to make sure that it's like perfect. So you can hit adjust point. And then I'm going to want it to turn off at 9 p.m. So that's 21 o'clock. Perfect. And make sure that these are all zero. And then I want about a one hour ramp down. So I'm going to do 20 o'clock at 40%. I never can get them exactly on the nose. So again, I'll adjust that point. All right, 2001. Adjust that point. All right, and now that that's up, it's going to come on at 9. It's going to ramp up to 45% over the course of an hour. It's going to level out, and then it's going to ramp down over the course of an hour. So I'm just going to save that. And then we could go over to number two. That would be the white LEDs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that from the royal blue. And then I'm going to go in here. name that and then I'm going to change my configuration I want my white LEDs to ramp up about an hour longer than the blues so that they come on a little slower so I'll change that to 11 percent and I really only want them to be about a third of what the blues are that's the kind of look I like and I find most people prefer that as well so I'm going to adjust this one too bring that down to 15 percent and again have it ramp down over two hours instead of one and then let's save that All right, and then we're going to go in and channel three, which is our cool blues. We're going to rename that. And we're 
we're simply going to copy from the Royal Blues and save. Then we're going to do the same thing with number four, which is our violets. Going to copy those from the Royal Blues and hit save. Alright, and there you have it. Your Apex is now configured to fully turn on, run your Reef Breeders Photons. Uh, once you have that uh, you know, once you have that hooked up and in place, you should be ready to rock and roll.